Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Crystal. Today, we'll be reading The Plucky Orangutan. The author of our story is Katherine Veitch, and the illustrator is Alyssa Ambora. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this story. Oma, the orangutan, wanted to be good at everything. She loved trying new things. Every waking hour when she was not eating or napping, she loved doing challenges. One day, Oma's friend Amir challenged her to build the best tree nest. It will be the coziest nest any orangutan has ever made, said Oma as she gathered branches with the biggest, softest leaves to line her new nest. But whoosh! A rain cloud burst overhead. Rain flooded into Oma's nest and quickly soaked the leaves and Oma. I wish you would go away, shouted Oma at the rain. Look at my soggy bottom. I'm not the best at building a cozy nest. Why don't you try building a nest in the fastest time instead, said Amir as he sheltered under a giant leaf. Word spread about Oma's next challenge, and when the rain stopped, she was ready to begin. Vina, who was the fastest nest builder many years ago, counted Oma down. One, two, three, orangutan go. The sounds of bend, snap, bend, snap echoed around the forest as Oma whipped branches off the trees. But the branches were wet and slimy, and many slipped out of her hands. Time's up, shouted Vina. Stop what you're doing. Oma did not feel confident with this challenge either. Can you stand up in your nest? shouted one of the watching orangutans. Oma nervously stepped in, but her nest was not very strong. I'm not the best at building nests in super quick time either, said Oma sadly. Amir suggested that for Oma's next challenge, she could try building the highest nest. Oma bravely climbed the tallest tree she could find. She could see for miles. It's windy up here, she nervously shouted down, but she would not give up the challenge. I can do this, she told herself. Amir was not so sure about the view when he joined Oma. Look, the rain clouds are coming back. Oma and Amir scrambled down just in time as heavy rain washed away Oma's nest. My idea to build a nest that high was not so great, said Amir, as leaves and branches fell on Oma's head. The rain has destroyed all of my nests. I wish it never rained again, said Oma. But Oma, the rain is so important to our forest, said Amir. Oma did not believe Amir. The two friends carried on arguing and were getting wetter and wetter. I challenge you to prove that plants need rain, said Oma. Let's have a competition. When it stopped raining, Amir was ready to take Oma's challenge. Vina volunteered to judge the competition and gave each of them a young tree to plant. It did not take Amir long to find the perfect spot to plant his tree. Here, my sapling will have shelter, light, and the rain will drip off that leaf and water it, he said. Alma found it much harder to find a spot for her tree, but eventually she found a dry tree hollow that did not have any animals in it. After a week, it was time to check on the young trees. First, they all went to Amir's sapling. I don't believe it, Amir beamed. My sapling has grown five more leaves. Then they went to look at Oma's sapling. Sadly, her small tree had not grown any more leaves, but Oma was still hopeful. Perhaps it's a slow starter, like me, she said. After two weeks, it was time for the final check. A mere sapling had grown tall and strong. I knew the rain would help my tree to grow, boasted Amir. But Oma's sapling looked very sad for itself. It had wilted and withered. This was another challenge that Oma had not won. Now do you believe me? asked Amir. Yes, I agree. Our forest needs the rain to grow, said Oma. Oma was sad. I'm not the best at building nests or growing a tree. But you are the best at something, said Vina. Oma could not think of anything she was good at. Every time something went wrong, 
You kept trying and you never gave up, smiled Vina. You are the best at trying your best. And the best at making people laugh, added Amir. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this reading of the Plucky Orangutan. If you'd like to add this book to your collection, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uploads that I add. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon in a couple of days with a new read aloud. Bye-bye!